Welcome back. What we're going to be doing right now is we're going to be lopping off the head of the, this model. And then we're going to be setting up uh, hair physics for the hair. I mean, we're going to be setting up cloth physics for the hair. So that way we can uh, do like a hair transplant. And we're going to be using the new feature of MDMD tools, which recently got updated. So I suggest you um, update and this thing's great. So let's get started. First, first thing, you import your model, as you have here. You select the bones, and we need to go to post mode. Control tab. And then we want to get the headphone. That's the only thing I'm interested in. And that controls the whole hair as we want. So you can go to your enemy tools. We're going to scroll until you see model surgery. So once you have selected your bone, you will press shop. And you wait for it to process and separate the whole entire model as you want. So you can zoom out. The model is now fully separated. Let me turn off that. So this is the only thing I'm interested in. So I'm gonna hide and just pretty much delete the bottom one. If I can select it. Okay, won't let me. Grab this. I don't need this anymore for these purposes. Delete that. And that goes away. So this is all I'm interested in. Just the head model. And let's get the our clock physics to it. So this is the thing to do is yes, create a new mesh. So create a mesh. Doesn't matter what it is, we're gonna Turn that into a vertex group. I mean, vertex point. Go tap, grab that, and we're gonna merge that one into a single thing. So we're gonna press M for merge, and we're gonna go by center. That created a tiny little dot, which right now is overlapping with the origin point. But it is right there. What I want to do next, I don't need to look at the uh, uh, mesh. I just need the bones, and that's all I care for. So, in order to keep things nice and organized, I'm going to also separate the bones into their own layer. This step is not necessary. So you can skip, but let me try to do it really fast. So, um, go pose. And that is the head bone, so that's going to stay. Let's go to that. And I'm going to move all the hair bones to a different layer, which is going to be this one over here. So let's see if that controls that one. Let's press M. That moves that one. G, that. I control anything? Yes, a tiny little strand. Okay, so move that one and that one. Move there. So let's go through the whole entire process, which is going to need physics of those there. Now let's go to control plus. Now control plus doesn't work. Select that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. Press M. Move. And let's just keep repeating this process. Here, I can just should select them all. Okay, grab that and Move that. 
there and there. Move those. There and there. Move those. Okay. Select those. Move. The ears. Now they can stay fixed. I'm not going to put any fix fix on those. Alright, so select those. Oh, this one here too. Okay, so and this one. Is that, yeah, that's another strap. Okay, so once I have in the different layer, I can just go to my hair layer, and this is going to make it a whole lot easier to uh, move things around. So now, well, I can't separate it. You know what? This is just going to be a Yeah. All right, follow this one. So the Jones and Rigid bodies, I'm not going to be exporting this model to MMD. So I'm going to get rid of those two files. But if you are, keep them. You will need them. And you can press Control Save. Save this. And then that way, if I want to regret it and go back, I still have this file. Here, see, you know, it's going to delete everything within that uh, chain. And now I have this nice, clean model. So that is the bone. That's going to be my cube. And this is this up here. Here I can toggle off my hair. I mean the skin. All right, so go back into the layers. That's the hair. And then face, and that's the hair. We're gonna grab R versus group, and now we're gonna be extruding that versus group all over the hair. Go tap, tap on this one, okay, why are you selecting that, somehow selecting the, okay, I'm going to Pause. Why? Okay, for some reason I'm going into pause and not edit mode. I mean, I'm edit mode finding the bones and not this guy. Alright, so let me do that again. Uh, grab that and delete that cube. Cube, edit, press M, merge by center. Move that guy up there. Okay, now I can select it. Okay. Most likely, I had something off there, but I also moved some of the bones. So let me reset those bones. Tap, press A, R, G, S, 
and they all should stay now in their place. Okay, now get out, select your cube, edit. Okay, just doing it again. Okay, so it works if I select it over here on the our layers, our scene. And not in a viewport. We want to select a snapping point, but to vertex. So we're going to be extruding this little dot and making an extrusion in every single bone. And the reason why I have it up here is because I'm going to be deleting this one at the very end, and that way I can separate them all instead of having this big mesh. Okay, so select that one and yes, press E. Go to the tip of one bone and that extrudes that there and there. Okay, so we have that one. So that one, select that one again. And let's grab our chain that one, that one, and that one. Okay, let's grab that one okay, it's pretty much rinse and repeat Grab E to extrude that one. And this is the main reason why we want to uh, make a layer group. That we only see exactly what you want and not the extra junk, which is going to be the eyes, mouth, and any other body parts of the bone. There, there, there. There, there. Zoom into that one. That one, shoot there, 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 and there. Select all. All right, I think I have all the little bangs in the front part of the hair. Select that one and extrude. Let's get the ponytail. All right, so now we have, let me first select all, all these guys. So this is going to be our, like, our main controls for our cloth simulation and now we need to do two things we want to create a pin group for our model which is going to tell the cloth simulation like this area you're not going to be uh, simulating it so you're going to be staying in place so we want to put a pin group on our top of our joint so all these uh, beginning parts of the bones 
shall stay put or do not simp. All right, so we want to grab this TCS point and control plus you select um, the first one in the line. So from this particular ones, since these ones are going up, I have them in like uh, reverse order. I'm going to select that one and unselect that one. Same with this one. I'm going to select the bottom one. And okay, so that one we have our beginning top. We're going to go over here to our vertex. Uh, then we're going to create a new vertex group. And this one, let's call it pin. Make sure your weight is to one, and we're gonna make a sign. So make sure you press that one. And now that's assigned to that vertex group. To verify that you uh, have it right, let's click on somewhere else, click on your vertex group, and press select. That will highlight anything that's uh, assigned to that specific group. So press select. And you just gonna make sure you have them in the right spot. If you do, you're pretty much done with this one. I, however, like to have a bit more control over my uh, hair simulation using like keyframes. So I go uh, one step further. This part's optional, and you do not need to do this. But I will create a pin R. And I'm gonna grab every single part of the vertex and assign it to a full weight of one. Once I have that, I can pretty much just get rid of this one. I don't need this one. Just delete the vertex. Once you press all, now you have a nice clean little section with no overlaps. Okay, now you can get jump out of that one select your mesh let's call this one hair scene cloth and we're gonna go select our hair cloth select our bones which we want to attach we go to post mode inside of the uh, you know what let me save this file before i screw something up all right so now i have a different version of this okay so once again i'm going to select it all we're going to go down here our any tools to the linear tools and he hasn't named this little section yet, but it's called stretch bones to vertex. This is going to attach our bones into our vertex groups we made. So whatever we move our uh, cloth, which is right now just a vertex, the bones will follow. And this is how we... Um, simulate the cloth which is already there all right so just press this button and then this only works if you have um the your vertex groups right in the same place as usually are ends the beginnings and ends of your bones one problem i did found was if you don't have any like no names for your uh like no pin groups, no versus groups for any of your cloth. This tends to be kind of wacky. So make sure you have a versus group beforehand before you do this. Just press that one. And as you can see, everything in green. That means now they're being controlled by something else. To test that, we can go to our cloth. We can go to our edit and now you can pretty much move any of your versus groups 
and the bones will follow. Let's turn on our mesh. As you can see, we can pull those and now the whole hair follows. And all right, so one more step to do is get out of that. Before I add cloth, I'm going to be adding a uh, here, vertus weight mix. So I have two vertus. And we got a bunch of moves in that. So I made two pin groups. This one and this one. Right now, the top sections will not move once I add the simulation. And if I pin this one, none of the hair will move. This modifier is going to have a little mixture between the pin group that it only uh, follows this one and a pin group that has full control over everything. So select that one, select pin, and then pin off for your B. And we're going to say off. Our influence, now we can play this and we can uh, keyframe it. So if you have a part of the animation where the hair gets stuck or somewhere else, you're going to be able to push this slider higher and it's going to make the hair stiffer. So it's going to bring, come back to this original shape and pop back up or unglitch itself. And just make sure you set it back down and once you uh, go past the little section. So once I have this set up, now I can add the cloth simulation. Here, add cloth. So make sure you have your cloth selected. And we're going to go all the way down to our shape. And we're going to press pin group. Now, if you press play, your cloth will now sim. Now, there you go. If you want to have a smoother um, physics and like a less rigid and static, I usually like to have the linear on. It creates a uh, like a silkier uh, move. Okay. Now, if for some reason you forgot to put your pin group here. Your hair will just fall into infinity. So let me press play. And this happens. If this happens to you, it means you forgot this one step. You didn't put pin here. Okay. So let's go back. And now it's falling only that little section. I go back. Now, if you follow me, and but you mistakenly put the pin all, and now you seam it, you're probably wondering like why, because nothing is happening. So in this pin group, every single piece of the uh, uh, hair or cloth is gonna be stiff, one hundred percent. So make sure you have this one for your simulation purposes now right now if this is all you want you're set you're done but since right now there are only vertex like little dots already this won't have any collisions with the body or any parts of the uh the world uh, where is Okay, so now we want to do is add a little bit of thickness to it. So the best way to do it were uh, for this 
just press 7 and you go to your top view go back to edit mode in your cloth select all of them and we're gonna press extrude and we're gonna extrude a little bit of our cloth to one side or the other or you can extrude and rotate so you have um, a little bit so it all depends on your origin of your cloth and since right now they're uh, I have the origin point like right smack in the middle you can press extrude extrude not press rotate oops wrong button so extrude and I have some thickness I'm gonna unclick that one and now press rotate so I have a little bit of um, rotation, but I just want a tiny little bit, not so much. Because we are moving the bones by doing this. Okay, so now you have a little bit of thickness. Now this will now have some collisions. So the bigger your face, the bigger the collisions will have. You can work with this by extruding your mesh like this and make sure they're the same size as your hair grab that one and put it there and that's going to create a collision in the edges of your model but they will also have a bigger uh, chances to like glitch out. So this part you're gonna be dependent on your model and how you want it. So it's gonna be a bunch of uh, trial and error. And now let me show you. Now that we have some thickness, uh, there you are. Go back to object mode, select my cloth. So you can see visually, go to way paint and okay. So we need to select 10. You have, you have your versus group selected, pin. You go to your modifier, and now you're going to be able to visually see how dynamic it is to like move your uh, your mix groups. So fully one means you're not going to get any faces whatsoever. You press spacebar, nothing happens. Now you can reduce this like halfway. Now you have going to have a semi physics to your okay so this one's pretty darn stiff still that thing just kind of fell a tiny little bit and stopped so let's move that to two three space bar okay so now they're kind of springy so for these little sections they're sticking up upwards let me turn on here. You don't want these ones to flop down into gravity. So around these settings, these sections is should be pretty perfect. But the hair, you actually want that one to flop around. And right now they're staying kind of dirty. You might want to reduce that one even more. And now over here, you saw those like flop. You don't want that. So what you're going to be doing here is you're going to be lopping off that little section and having its own uh, cloud physics with a stiffer settings. You can also do that to the bangs if you think they're like dripping too much. They can separate them as well and have their own grouping. 
So press two and okay for two for this model it's kind of it fits well it is trying to keep its shape and not totally like deform into uh like a loopy spot even the banks are keeping their original shape but they still have some physics to it so a two seems to work well if you go fuel zero you just get this loopy drapey <laughs> look like it also depends on what you're going for you got nice long hair and maybe this is what looks better so let's lop that little section off and since we already have this uh set up I means we can, can separate pieces of our model no problem it will keep them already set so this is the great place to do so turn off the mesh you can see so let me select faces faces and control plus plus so make sure you select them all we're gonna press p and we're gonna separate by selection so make sure you have those selected and if that works fine which i think it did not Clock. Oh, did put the clock. Did ooh, things broke. Simulate. Now, okay, so this is not working for this particular setup. Oh, so let's. Get rid of cloth. Okay, so it's following the bottom ones, but it's not following this one. That would mean that we lost some parenting issues. One other way to fix them, let me just go back and before I separated them. is we can create another uh mix weight for this one and so make this one stiffer on their own okay so or since you already know that you want this one's uh two you can just go to your pin groups select this ones and just manually weigh them to a um, stronger settings here go this off again so make sure you your pin grab Go to first and select, grab those, 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 and those. And here we press point two and we'll assign that. Right there. And we press two here, point two. And there we go so we increase the weighted of the pin groups for this ones so that way they stick up and this ones they are still pretty dynamic now let me add a little bit of 
motion to our model and we're done oh that bounce select that one select the head select that one go post one let's go here go here let's go here rotate here rotate and go and i wasn't registering those See how that looks. That one looks like it's broken. The hell happened there? Let's select our cloth. Go here and this post be set. Oh, oh what happened? I already screwed this one up. I need to parent the mesh to our bone, which I totally forgot and skipped. We need to do that now. Let me select that one. Let me go back, select that one to its original spot. Go out of post mode. Select our cloth. Shift select our bones. Go to post mode. Select our head bone or whatever you want to attach to. Press Control P, and you want to select to bone. So now, wherever the bone goes, the mesh will follow. Go out of bones. And now the hair is following. And since I'm recording this, it's like super laggy. Go back and we crap the animation that I did. But there you go. You're set. Now all you have to do is mess with your height and settings of how stiffness you want your your cloth. Put in a collision to the body and you're set. With this, we're gonna be calling it. Catch you guys later.